Jared has an obsession with cheeses. Always has. I don't really understand. Uh, he doesn't actually own them, so he comes over here and eats them all, so I have none left. I think sometimes he comes over here just to eat cheeses. So, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna hide them from him and see what happens. What's up? Hey, what's up? So I was uh, thinking we could hang out, maybe. You going somewhere? Uh, yeah, I um, forgot about, yeah. Wanna clean up your mess? About a week ago, Jared and I came up with an idea to make a big film, and it was very inspiring. We were ready to ready to go, and uh, ever since that time, uh, we've been trying to develop the script, or more so the idea story, and it, it has not been going well. I mean, I've been coming up with some ideas that are just gold. And Jared's turning down. Jared doesn't know a thing when it comes to writing, let me tell you. I don't know what Drew's problem is. He keeps complaining that things aren't going well, but he's bringing nothing to the table. I mean, he's come up with probably at least 20 ideas, but each idea sucks more than the last. It's just a trail of suckage. All right, how about this? There's a kid, all right? All right. And, uh... He's trying to get this girl to like him. She's a little older, so he makes a wish to be bigger. And overnight, he becomes a grown-up. Let me guess, you're gonna cast Tom Hanks in it. Why is there no originality left in the world? What is that? Why can't someone, like myself, write something original? No one else has done it. It's amazing, mind-blowing, it wets pants. Is that too much to ask? Is it? I want people to wet their pants over my stuff. Jared, I think hmm. I figured yeah. out her problem. What is that? Every time I've watched an interview about a writer, they've always talked about how to get the inspiration, they locked their whole team in a room, and they, would, they wouldn't leave until they got the idea. They would sit there for hours and hours until they got an idea. That's what we need to do. You mean like what we tried to do yesterday? That didn't work. Okay, borderline homosexual. Yep. The writing process is difficult. Anyone who says otherwise is an idiot. It's not like you can just go sit on the toilet, poop out an idea, get up, look at it, and there's your script. So over the past couple hours, Jared and I have sat down and talked about what inspired us, what our inspiration was. I kept coming up with comedies. He kept coming up with action movies. That turned into an argument. I stormed off, went to Dairy Queen, got myself a cone. I returned, and with a brilliant idea, to get a third opinion. I talked Jared into go seeing the one director who I thought had vision, Brett. I'd forgotten about Brett's dog. Hmm. Quite the opposite from Drew's.
Let's not avoid those right there. And I'm Brett Varvel, uh, owner and CEO of Timeless Pictures. I specialize in wedding videography, um, senior portraits, family portraits, you know, the works, a boutique style production company, the works. Um, oh, and uh, I'm a filmmaker, of course. Uh, Drew's brother, more, uh, more experienced. So what's up? We're trying to make, a, as you might have heard, a film. Yeah. Yes. On um, big time. Film. Yeah, like a big, like, movie theater. Theaters. Real big. Something yeah. big. On big scale. Yeah. Okay. We've been trying to come up with the idea. But right now, we're having the trouble. We can't even agree on a genre. Interesting. Yeah. That's that's really interesting. I, 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 interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So we're, See, he feels that's that interesting. we should yeah. do... Uh, Hold on. Oh. Shuddy. Brett Varvel, Times Pictures. Yes. That appointment is actually for Thursday. You can meet here, or uh, we can go to the Starbucks down the street, get some Java, whatever you want. All right, bring your wedding planner. I'm excited. Big day's coming up. All right, see you. See you, babe. That'd be right. Yes. I feel that we should do a comedy. Of course. And I'm thinking comedy won't sell, so we need to do an action movie. Okay, I've got an idea. Scratch both. Okay. No, nothing. Nada. Yeah, neither. Nope. No. Oh. Okay. No, what I'm thinking is what's, uh, what's the best. What puts butts in the seats. What changes lives. What sends messages. What inspires. What changes emotions. Let me guess, you're thinking... Dramatic films. So we're all very familiar with Drew's ego. Let's think about this for a second. If Drew's ego was the size of the Earth, Brett's ego would be the size of, I don't know, the sun? Let's see, let's see if we can just... You know, can kind of collaborate between the two, the comedy and the action, and kind of make something in the middle. That, we, we, yeah. did, we didn't even look at the drama, so we have thing. We didn't. We oh, didn't. gosh. What do you got? Okay. Yeah. Dad's 60. He's been a fisherman all his life. He's poor, been living in the slums all his life. The boy made a name for himself. He's rich. Meets a young little girl. Turns out she's a tricksty. She's a tricksy. Takes all his money away. He's down to nothing. His dad dies. He's bitten by a snake. Gets venom poisoning. In a hospital for months. In a coma. Wakes up from the coma. Finds out he has a child. His child. He raises the child. Brett the always does this. He thinks just because he won an Emmy, he made the board, he won the Letterman, and he won first place in XL, that he can do whatever the heck he wants. Let me tell you something. When he was my age, he wasn't doing half the crap I've been doing. What does that tell you? Does that tell you I might have better ideas? Yes. What do you guys think? That was great. Um, of course it was. was. Awesome. I think we're <laughs> going to uh, maybe go a different direction though. We'll take it to heart though. These guys suck. They couldn't make a film to save their life. They got the worst ideas, they got no direction, no creativity, no Emmys. They suck. Huh? You guys are awesome. One thing he said that has stuck with me. He said, combine our ideas. An action comedy. An action comedy. And even better, we already have it mostly written. The Enchanted Knight. It's been a while. I know. Come on, let's pull it up. Let's take a look. Let's see what we got. Alright, here we go. Enchanted Knight. Okay. Alright, you ready? Yes. Wow. Yeah, look at it. A teacher once told me about something that happens during the writing process called letting it marinate, which is where you write something, leave it alone for a long time, and then read it again to see if it's still good. The Enchanted Knight is not. This sucks. What are we gonna do?